finally. It's been a minute. It's been a, um, how long has it been since my last video? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's been too long. Actually, I think it's only been a few weeks. I filmed something before Christmas, I think. But, or after Christmas? Today I thought I would do my makeup. I haven't done, um, like a makeup I don't want to call this a tutorial because I'm not teaching you how to do it. I'm just doing it. I thought I'd do my makeup. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to do something purple. I really like purples right now. And I think that this is going to be perfect for that because, I mean, look at that. And I can dip into some other palettes as well and just see what happens. That's what I've been enjoying doing lately is just seeing how things look and how they feel and just going for it. So let's get to it. So I'm debating, like I had these little ears that I got when I was in London and I love them a lot. So I've been using them to push back my hair. Also before we get officially started, I mean, I guess we kind of already have, but before I get too into it, I want to mention these earrings that I have. Can you see them? They are absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. Um, I have two pairs. I also have these little like green ones as well and I just I got them off Etsy from I think it's called Oh Panda Eyes that Etsy store and I will I think I'm gonna link it in the description because so beautiful so for foundation I have this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation slash concealer and I don't love it I really don't love it. I, I needed foundation because I was originally using, or a while ago I was using this NYX foundation that I do not like at all. It didn't sit well in my skin. It just, it didn't work for me. Um, I love NYX, but that foundation just didn't work for me. Um, and this one I don't really like either. I am probably going to go back to the ColourPop foundation because that I really loved. But this one, it's just not working for me. But it's what I have now, so it's what I'm going to use. So I have this little uni blender and I'm gonna just pop some on it and put it all over my face. Okay, so and then I take this Jeffree Star concealer and put it in the concealing parts. Also, this stuff, like a little bit, goes a long way, so I don't put too, too much. I can't hide my natural blush, no matter how hard I might want to. Uh, and then I'm going to take my powder and go in with the same beauty blender and just like pat it over to bake for a little bit. Now I'm going to take my Sephora Contour Palette and use, same as usual, same as I've always done, which is this little one right here with this little pink angled brush. And then I'm switching brushes to this little one because it makes it so much easier to do nose contour. Um, so I'm going to use this one from this Tarte palette thing that I've showed you a million times. And actually I'm going to take a little bit from this one too, because I think it has a nice little sparkly. And then I'm actually also, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that powder that's been baking. I'm going to wait on highlight until I know until I know what my eyes look like so I can complement it to that, but I'll probably end up using that. I need to do my brows, and this is what I have to do my brows right now. As you can see, I have, I have, I use it to death. So I'm gonna take this nice little brush that I have and go into my pills or just any like skin tone-y color to act as a base because this is always where I start this is where I know how to start and this is just what we're doing and then I'm gonna go into Tanacon from the same palette so we're gonna go with this bonky brush and go into foreplay 
and I'm kind of laying this down as like a map for the rest of the colors as well as a crease color. And I am going to go really deep in here. I'm kind of going for a halo eye effect, I think is what I'm going to do. Because I don't do that, really. And I'm also going to sweep this under the eye. Um, I'm going to use this little brush. It's I wish it wasn't angled, but it is. So this is just what we're working with. And... I'm gonna go into Purple Punch, which is this middle one right here. Oh yeah, that's gonna, that's good, that's good. And I'm just gonna follow the map that I laid down with Pore Flare. Oof, oof. That's the problem whenever you're looking into a mirror is you get just too far. You know, you can't quite see how it looks to other people. Oof, okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna take this little brush and go into Oral, I think. This is what I want to do, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay, that doesn't really do much, does it? Well, I'm going to pack it into the inner, to the outer quarters. Corners. Regardless. So now we're going to do the same brush because I'm too lazy to get another one. Um, and go into Bite Me. And do the outer corner thing. Again. I don't know if I got that on camera, so this is Bite Me. We're getting better. It's getting better. Okay. Now I'm done with this palette. I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to put it back, put it up, be done with it. But I'm going back to the Conspiracy palette. And I'm going to go with Sleep Paralysis, I think. And try and just see what happens with that. Because honestly, I don't know. Outer corner stuff, yay. Something is happening. I don't know what, but it's... Uh, yeah. Something happened there, I think. Okay, um, then I'm gonna take this brush and just go right into my right, in well, I'm gonna do spiraling actually. I want a little bit of that. Oh, that's good. I like what that did. So, okay, and now we're gonna go into my right is here and do that exact same thing, just a little bit smaller. I'm getting makeup in my eye. Ooh, so I'm gonna take this Alchemist Holographic Palette. Now this is a Kat Von D palette. I'm gonna use it because you know what? The colors are really pretty. I'm gonna use this center one, which is the, this this one, which is Ultraviolet Amethyst. Yeah, I'm gonna use this brush, this flat brush, and just wet it a little bit with this ColourPop Amethyst Crystal Priming Spray. I'm gonna go into it and just put it all over the center. Okay, so we have that purple down, which is gorgeous. Oh my god. And now we're going to go into pink opal, which is the very bottom one. And lay that right on top. Because I feel like this look turned out way more pink than purple, which is fine. Then I'm going to take the Halo Top ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Tassel. Which this thing is fantastic. And I'm actually just going to use my finger for it and put it around like that. And put this in the very center of my lid and also in like the highlighty bits of your eye so like in the inner corner and maybe a little bit on your brow but i regretted it as soon as i did it so don't do that it's so glittery i don't know if you can even see how glittery it is but it's so glittery is this up i don't think so god i love that <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna take some concealer and just clean it up a little bit but i'll be right back Okay, honestly, that's the best it's gonna get. I don't know. I don't know what other shaping bits I can do. So it's just gonna look like this. It's not awful. I, I really like the colors of it a lot. And I think those are really nice. And I hope you can see how glittery, but we're gonna try again later. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyeliner. I'm gonna take this eyeliner and just, I don't know, line it somehow, I guess. Yeah, that works. And then I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetic Stellar Lash Mascara. This next step, I'm either gonna ruin everything or I'm gonna make it better. There's no in between. I'm gonna put on lashes. So I have these really amazing Lunar Angel lashes. Okay, okay, that one's on. I went for it too soon, I got too excited. Too impatient, too excited, I went too soon. So learn from that mistake. Some might say, this would be easier if I used tweezers. And to that I say, debatable. Hmm. It's a little wonky, but I think I can pretend it's okay. Hmm. 
I might just have to pretend. Like it doesn't feel right on my face and it doesn't look right either. Okay, I think I fixed it. Something that I've been doing a lot lately as well, like a little brush like this and dipping it in a brown and just shaping the inner corner of my eye a little bit. Okay, so highlight and then lipstick and then we're done. I am in fact going to take this uh, ColourPop Disney Villains Cruella highlighter. That was a mouthful. It's pretty nice. I like it, I use it quite a lot. Um, it's just got a nice little interesting look to it. Oh, on this weird giant brush. I just really like this brush, so. Okay, we're switching highlighters then. Let's try this one. Cool. And now we're gonna take a little bit of that pink opal from the Kat Von D palette and use that over it because it's not showing up. What a good idea that was. Okay. Lipstick and then we're done. I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star Family Jewels, uh, the Laura Lippard lip. Oh, that's too dark. Is that too dark? I think it's too warm. I don't know. I'm not in love with it. I mean, I like the color a lot, don't get me wrong. I love this lipstick, but I'm not in love with using this one for this look. So I think I'm gonna put this ColourPop one over it and see what happens. And kind of mix the two together. Okay, that I like better. That I do like. I don't know if it changed it at all or if my brain just was like, you need to see a change. So it's kind of different. Do I do a montage? Is that something I do? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe this was helpful for you. Oh, let me put on my glasses. Okay, I like this. I like this look a lot. I'm really excited about it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, fun times. If you want to see more, let me know. And let me know what colors you want to see. Because this was kind of a pinky purple, but... I've got a lot of different colors and I really love to experiment with the different colors. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I really appreciate it. Um, also, if you liked it, be sure to subscribe. This was really fun and really easy for me to film. So yeah, if you want to see more like this, let me know. Be sure to subscribe to see when I post something else like this. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.